Chapter 30 Suppose all these things happen to you, the blessings and the curses I have listed, and you meditate on them as you are living among the nations to which the Lord your God has exiled you. If at that time you return to the Lord your God, and you and your children begin wholeheartedly to obey all the commands I have given you today, then the Lord your God will restore your fortunes. He will have mercy on you and gather you back from all the nations where he has scattered you. Though you are at the ends of the earth, the Lord your God will go and find you and bring you back again. He will return you to the land that belonged to your ancestors, and you will possess that land again. He will make you even more prosperous and numerous than your ancestors. The Lord your God will cleanse your heart and the hearts of all your descendants, so that you will love him with all your heart and soul, and so you may live. The Lord your God will inflict all these curses on your enemies and persecutors. Then you will again obey the Lord and keep all the commands I am giving you today. The Lord your God will make you successful in everything you do. He will give you many children and numerous livestock, and your fields will produce abundant harvests. For the Lord will delight in being good to you as he was to your ancestors. The Lord your God will delight in you if you obey his voice and keep the commands and laws written in this book of the law, and if you turn to the Lord your God with all your heart and soul. This command I am giving you today is not too difficult for you to understand or perform. It is not up in heaven, so distant that you must ask, Who will go to heaven and bring it down so we can hear and obey it? It is not beyond the sea, so far away that you must ask, Who will cross the sea to bring it to us so we can hear and obey it? The message is very close at hand. It is on your lips and in your heart so that you can obey it. Now listen. Today I am giving you a choice between prosperity and disaster, between life and death. I have commanded you today to love the Lord your God and to keep His commands, laws, and regulations by walking in His ways. If you do this, you will live and become a great nation, and the Lord your God will bless you and the land you are about to enter and occupy. But if your heart turns away and you refuse to listen, and if you are drawn away to serve and worship other gods, then I warn you now that you will certainly be destroyed. You will not live a long, good life in the land you are crossing the Jordan to occupy. Today I have given you the choice between life and death, between blessings and curses. I call on heaven and earth to witness the choice you make. Oh, that you would choose life that you and your descendants might live. Choose to love the Lord your God and to obey Him and commit yourself to Him, for He is your life. Then you will live long in the land the Lord swore to give your ancestors Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob.